Whoop, whoop. Hey guys, it's WormCanal007 here. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, guys, hit the sub, hit the like, do a lot of beautiful stuff. Anyways, um, while I'm hunting my secret ability, Wobbalisk, I thought, um, let's go and talk about uh, Lumion Legacy in 2021. Um, first of all, well done to the devs. Um, the devs, devs have hit us with Rowdy 8 and the Christmas event, um, like two weeks apart from each other, and they grinded like mad. Took them kind of a 68 weeks period to get it out. Beautiful. We'll take that all day long. Um, well done to the devs on, on communicating as well. Um, our biggest bugbearer was the fact they weren't telling anything. Transparency went under radio silence for a while. Over Christmas, th those guys have been like flat out. So GG to you guys. Um, thanks for your hard work and long may I continue. Now, what I'm going to do is going to kind of guess, set kind of player expectations and kind of say what I would like to see. And bear in mind guys every time we ask for something extra in this game um we just add to their workload so our expectations and reality <laughs> that that that's what usually happens um so first of all um if in the comment section below guys let me know what you guys want to see um in the game what you think would be good um if a dev see this um even drop a comment on it i know some things are going to be unrealistic some things will be viable um but hopefully i can kind of communicate it in a way that's good enough for you guys so um first of all uh let's get let's get straight into it um battle theaters okay um we've seen games up a year and a half now um we've seen three battle theaters so we're averaging ballpark what five six months per battle theater um if we could get those grinded out a bit quicker i think everybody would love it um if you kind of forecasted and like every six months it's like a four-year project and we know it's going to be a long project and, and we get that um i would like i think most people would would love to see a, a few more battle theaters okay um obviously you're going to go road battle theater road battle theater um the way you guys have been working so hard um and things like that to get you know stuff out it's been brilliant but i guess kind of a bigger picture we get two battle theaters maybe two events out valentine valentine's day event and maybe an easter event um the events have been really good um to break things up um uh, between updates um not only that like the events are are superb if we go back to say the the gecko event it filled up a good gap of time we then had the halloween event we have then had the christmas event so you know really since what august you guys you guys are doing really good when we actually think about it in terms of time span um so you know looking at that we would love to probably see more battle theaters um coming through um that said um moving away from that obviously that'll look after your storyline with you know what's going on with tess um you know there's you know so many other things so let's get the bigger things out and this is a constant thing that you guys are saying on stream um you guys want mega evolutions okay i ain't gonna i i think i'm gonna park the bus on that one because right now mega evolutions is a pokemon thing same as emus it's far too early in the game like if you're gonna bring that in it has to be like after route six there's just it's just far far too early far far too early um you know not only that if you put the mega evolutions even on the starters as an example um their stats are probably gonna be that higher of the the rumors at the moment so i, I like the idea and i know people will love it and i'll probably get some hate for saying it but guys it's far too early far far too early to even to be considering that um could we have it maybe later on if again it depends on battle theaters and the stories and things like that so don't get me wrong i'm all for it but you know we need to be a bit more realistic on it um on the battlefront then um you know rank battle if we're getting a fourth battle theater we always say like after a fourth battle theater something like that with, with rank battle the battle coliseum leaderboard something like that would be really good um what we don't want to see is we don't want to see possession being nine tenths of law so we don't want to have somebody in the being a leader and just not battling and just holding that position um we don't want alt grinding um we don't want that to happen um what we would love to see is we've been kind of spoiled at the moment in the, the item shop in the battle theater but you guys give us loads at the start way way too much instead of drip feeding us um I think on the battle the battle theater shop um love to see things like toxic orbs there's been a huge 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 shout out and a recent demand for ability capsules 
um, like see if you take like Apple for example, um, it gets Specialization or Watcher and you want to swap them between them. Um, if you don't know what ability capsule is, it doesn't affect it to get you a secret ability, but it'll swap between the, the two other base personalities. A lot of Lumians are coming out with two base personalities at the moment, so you know, there's nothing worse than when you rally something, you get the perfect TPs and it's just the wrong personality. Um, things that won't happen on the battlefront, um, I heard from a third party that we're not going to get a macho brace and we're not going to get power items. Um, I understand that because then they kind of devalue the point of gummies um, and you've got a booster to, to try and get um, TPs quicker. Um, so I think that one needs kind of score straight away. Um, there's, there's, there actually is no need for those power items because we've got gummies. Simple as that. Um, the events have been very generous towards gummies and they're going to change the item shop to help you get shards. So yeah, I think that one kind of answers that one straight away. Um, but yeah, a few more battle items would be awesome. Um, what I think would be good for late game is the UMV. Um, I think the UMV has still massive potential. Um, I, I love the UMV. Um, when I say it has massive potential, you could have it that like it opens up um, another trench. Um, for example, it could have different items, could have power fruits, could have shards, could have another roamer, could have encounters underneath um in the actual trench as well um don't know how that would look like but like you could have multiple trenches to be able to dive in later on in the game i think that one has massive 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 potential um that shouldn't go unseen to be honest with you um fourth battle theater what do people think it's going to be um we know we're going to get a beach next i think it's probably going to be um I think it's probably going to be a, a water type. I, I could see a dual type. That would be pretty awesome. Um, to be fair. Um, obviously people have been talking about Anthean City. And people are saying. Oh yeah. Let's get like battle bonds. No. It's just not going to happen. Um, do you think the battle bond Greninja's are going to get replaced? Um, that's something people were asking like a year ago. No. It's not going to happen guys. It's it's just not. Because. If you bring in something like that, you need to bring a Mega Evolution in, it's far too early. Far, far too early. Far, far too early for anything like that, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. Don't think anything like that will come in. Um, what else do you think would be quite good to see in the game? Um, the item shop, as in like the normal shop. Um, we need revives. Um, we need the ability to sell. Um, by the way, I, I am just giving you like more work on top of more work. Um, but this is kind of the thing we're not expecting it overnight. But even some of these things could be absolutely awesome to be introduced. Um, other things um, could be brought in is like everybody like I'm I'm big big fan big big fan of the new Lumi discs. Um, the Voidstone discs, love them. Um, we talked about the Poké stamps. Um, where the animation came in, um, if that's feasible. I think something like that's pretty cool. There's been, people are really liking the cosmetics um, and the ability to have like the cosmetics such as the wisp jar and the gleams and the gammas and things like that um, be pretty cool. Um, one thing people have asked for, um, I don't think necessarily the, the game needs it, but like at a certain level of mastery that you could get a potential boost to get alphas or gammas i don't think it's needed like but it's something that people are, are asking for um other things um yes let's talk about the rumors okay so we've now had four soft resettable rumors in a row Wabalisk, uh cephalops um Mutagon and metronip i think that if we go back and we look at brick bronze as an example, um, there was different ways of getting the legendaries in. Like I remember Victini was like a, that puzzle, like that puzzle. Um, could bring in something along those lines. If I think about the three legendary dogs, um, we had it that you know you encountered them and then they were like rare to go across for counters. Obviously, their encounter rate could be varied, very simply. Um, could introduce something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, well, then that kind of brings us to the next thing, which is legendaries. So 
everything's kind of been worked around to kind of like a base stats in terms of what's a roamer and so on and so forth you know are we going to have like a legendary or are we going to have something that's going to be slightly overpowered or are we going to keep everything all balanced and fair are we going to have select legendaries coming in um i know like in brick bronze like when you guys were like giving the legendaries out you were like giving them out to the youtubers and saying here why don't you go and showcase this um and see exactly what it's like and give them early access um you know you've got people there you've got gme you've got people there like think noodles people who actually have huge traffic um that could potentially be drawing more people into the game um obviously probably more so potentially youtubers with bigger capture you know to bring more players to the game could be good or you could look after people who've been grinding the game i don't know whatever that looks like that it's a good idea um why would you not want to do that um so i think like along those lines they would be pretty cool the add to the game um at the moment you know obviously you guys have actually i actually asked you guys what you wanted to see in the game um let me actually run through some of the some of the tweets um so if i bring us in so first person that they wrote back is they want to see rick astley in the game <laughs> um big fan um okay i would love to see some more stuff that we could keep us busy while we wait for updates um events like again valentine's day event would be perfect i'm thinking okay what did i put down here for example maybe on a certain day a rare lumion can be found in a certain place in that day or just anything that could keep us hype in general in brick bronze we had the trubbish i think trubbish appeared only on a certain day um there was a couple of day lumions wasn't there there's was something to do with trifling as well um in brick bronze that we had them so uh, that's actually uh, that, that's actually a decent tweet uh, that one came from azure by the way um what else we got um so many games or shops like in anthian city so there is more fun other than grinding um people are enjoying the, the mini game with like the steel and things like that um in the christmas event in anthian we had the arcade um it opened up the other items which was perfect which is perfect you know what i mean um so that's a big thing that would be awesome i know we've got like there's something along the lines of Anthean, Atlant Anthean, so I'm guessing that Atlant means obviously from like Atlantis, so I'm guessing it's underwater potentially, it could be an underwater city, or it's a city based around water. Um, maybe an RNG boost in mastery, yeah, so we touched on that briefly. Um, what else are you guys saying? No RNG mode for PvP, um, that's just daft because they've got, um, everything has an accuracy in an RNG, so I can't see that happening. Um, a mini game that will appear somebody someone's just saying i'm looking forward to the next puzzle um for the battle theater which is good fun randomizer mode i think a randomizer mode would be cool but again i think it's a bit too early um in terms of early 2021 yeah busy saying 2021 like and it's weird um people would like to see um roblox battles come to Lumion legacy Again, I did get away in with that. Um, we know Russo has good ties with the game and developers. And my, um, he he's went on like some other channel as well where he's doing other um, YouTubers collab and playing the game again on a rerun. I guess it'll be a rerun for him. Um, I think something like that would be. There's a good way in the RB battles, in my opinion. Um, somebody says they want more storyline. Um, Weekly challenges, so players can earn weekly challenges from a game and must complete a weekly challenge, earning a virtual prize if they complete. Again, that's kind of like a battle pass or daily reward system. Um, again, that means that more free to play players would return. So there's a bit of logic behind something like that. Um, maybe Meg Evolutions, harder quest to get soft resettable Lumions. Yeah, that, that's, I actually tweeted that earlier. Soft resettables, I mean, a bit, a bit too easy to achieve. Um, more harder side quests, um, yeah, I suppose, um, like, could potentially go to the point of getting gammas for side quests, which means more people need to hunt, more hunting means ro more robux spent, win, 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 um, a golden twilight, um, golden twilight would be a good one to do for, like, um, community manager for Sertia, maybe, perhaps, um, I don't think it should be something that should be 
made um, double battle theaters. Um, I think that's just obviously a demand for actually doing more at a time. Somebody put an end into the story. Um, unlikely. Um, unless they're just going to cut it short. Um, some RNG boost obtainable from mastery again asked for. Um, RNG? I'm guessing that obviously must be able to do the alphas. Um, and our, people are asking for the arcade again um, in Brick Bronze. The next battle theater. A Lumion that uses Clingy. We've already got that. The Lucky Lotto. So a big thing that people... Everybody wants to know what's going on on Brad's breads. Eh? Brad even working? I mean, I might have to report on the Devtrons. I might actually have to do it. Um, so what's the point in the bakery? Are we going to do Lucky Lotto? Something like that going to come back? Um, somebody again has now put down um, an Easter event. Um, what have we got here? More mini games like the UMV. We need more of that. Like the Apartments, Lucky Lotto, um, Gobby Pond. Um, people like a Gobby Pond. It's something that I didn't go because it wasn't too worried about cosmetics, but in Brick Bronze, but that's something that people are looking forward to. We'd love to see more um, added to the at UMV item pool. Yeah, again, that's what I'm saying. If you, you could potentially put in another, another trench into the story, I think that'd be good. They promised after the fourth battle theater they would work on underground adventure mini game something like that. Um, I'm also hoping the yeah, apartments in arcade. Um, that yeah. So again, asking for more kind of stuff. Apartments for me, um, it's just cosmetic, and for me, it's not appealing. But the other people, um, each to their own. You know, you can't please everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, fun events and less hunts. Um, more frequent updates, it would be much better than a 9 month wait. Um, I think we've kind of covered that. Um, and this person is clearly now known as Karen. Right? Um, more li live in world. Oh, this was actually a really good one that somebody put down. Um, I mean, something like a Lumion walking around the place, like a wild dive swimming or a Goppy jumping in the lake, something like that. Um, people are saying, yeah, was hoping for that as well. Um, so basically where you could actually have more like NPC Lumions, I guess. More like Lumion animations in game. Um, I think they kind of want to kind of go towards kind of the sword and shield mode. Um, could you have a walking encounter maybe? Um, I don't know, perhaps. Um, and somebody said they would like to see their RNG in 2021. Rip them. So guys, there's loads and loads of stuff. Game has massive potential. Just obviously when we ask for more and more and more, we act it add to the workload um for me i guess the main things would be 10 the next six months if we could see two battle theaters and two events it'd be good if things get put back um then use reskin events to buy some time um battle items like there's there's so much potential this game has um and, and there's lots of pressure on the devs. We'll, we'll have to kind of realize that. The one thing that, that we have seen recently is, again, to go where is the communication. You know, we need communications brilliant. Um, we're not only the communication in terms of transparency of what happens, clarification. Um, so, like, if, if you know if somebody gets wrong information, they're correcting them, which is good because people need to see that. Um, so, huge, huge chance. Um, I guess just the one thing that's gonna kind of keep us in line is maybe like a roadmap um, for 2021 um, from the developers. Something along those lines would kind of, I guess, tell us where your head's at. Um, but, you know, like anything, our expectations are here, reality's here. We also need to be patient. We play our part, we have to support them. You know, nobody likes a Karen. Um, like people were already gurning about spending robux before a halloween event and it wasn't even out or was it the christmas event it was just like there's no need for that so i'm gonna leave off there guys i've been warm channel 007 whoop whoop let me see what you guys think in the comment section below